Hi again, it's Paul Decane for DV247.com. In today's Logic 9 tutorial, we're going to be looking at Drum Replacer. This is a cool new feature which allows you to change an existing drum sound, whether that's a snare, a kick drum, a tom, or any percussive instrument, by layering it with a new sound or replacing it completely. This is primarily effective for audio files, of course, especially those which have real performance nuances that you want to retain. These could be in the form of dynamics, timing, human feel, even errors and moments of genius. To show you Drum Replacer in action, here's soloed a live drum performance containing a standard pattern, but with a nice snare fill at the end. To bring up Logic's dialog box of available options, we select Track, and go down to Drum Replacement Doubling. And so before we start filling in the necessary information for Logic to actually fine tune this Drum Replacer feature, notice on the right hand side that the Media Browser area has changed. This shows available Drum Replacement sound sets, both acoustic and electronic. Back in the dialog box, we can enter values to help fine tune the Drum Replacer feature. Firstly, by picking from a drop down menu of available percussion categories like snare, kick, tom, or other. In this case, we're going to use snare. For the mode selection in this instance, I'm going to choose doubling to hear a new snare sound in tandem with the original. And here, relative threshold adjusts the analysis sensitivity of the audio transient. Move left for more transient detection, and move right is less sensitive. For trigger notes, we'll leave this in its default position at auto, and for timing offset of the new sample, not wanting a pre or post delay, we'll set that to zero milliseconds. So, considering that the original audio contains a snare drum that's more acoustic in nature, maybe perhaps we'd like to try and double that with more of an electronic snare sound. So let's go over to the browser window and try some of these. Well, I kind of like the electronic snare D112 there, so let's click OK back in this window and see what Logic gives us. Immediately, Logic's created a new EXS sampler instrument track with, hopefully, the electronic snare D112 inside it. I'll just solo the two snare tracks together. And you can hear the content of the two sounds, the acoustic and the electronic, but I think maybe the electronic is a little bit hot, so we can go down to the level of that and just turn it down. That's a nice flavour. Right, this time let's try the drum replacer feature with a kick drum, uh, again from the Spaceman Killers track, which is provided on your Logic Demo content DVDs. Uh, we've got a kick drum performance here, which I'll just solo for you now. Right, so again we'll go to track, drum replacement doubling, and the dialog box comes up again. This time we've got a instrument choice of snare, tom, kick, other, as previously, so let's try kick. And notice on the right hand side again, the media browser has now changed to a selection of different kick drums, acoustic, electronic, and layered kicks. This time though, I think we'd uh, like to try and replacing the kick drum. So we get rid of the original acoustic one and try a more electronic one again just to have some contrast. So we'll hit replacement there. For relative threshold we can adjust that. So let's look at this together and that looks about right. Pre-listen, let's hit that and see what we get. Moving over to the right hand browser we can try electronic kicks. Select one. Of 
course, with the new electronic kick drum sound in this case uh, being within the EXS instrument, it perfectly reflects the original drummer's performance. We can edit the sound uh, and also the actual timing and many other attributes of it within the EXS instrument itself with MIDI. And thanks again for checking in at dv247.com. We'll have more Logic 9 tutorials for you very soon. Until next time, bye for now.